24 hours, nigga, seven days a week. Me, I don't get tired, I let you all the niggas sleep. Turn up for that check, and yeah, I get it out the streets. Also, like I'm starving, going hard, I gotta eat. I get it out the mud. Yeah, yeah. I get it out the mud. Alright, y'all. So, if you know me, you know I fuck with Slim Thug, Chopped and Screwed, Houston Music. Especially when I'm just trying to go live, so it's only right. Got this bitch chopped up. I'm feeling pretty good today. I ate quite a bit. I'm live. I feel my pre-workout. Shit, I got my Alpha Academy shit on. Cause we motherfucking alphas. We about to eat. So let go. It's that six six long bitch, the nigga sticking your chick, pulling tricks, looking slick at all times. So, we're doing abs and calves every other day. So today's abs, I'm gonna put the belt on. Let's try to keep my core tight for the duration of the workout. I already did a little bit of abs. I'll show you guys more later. So, mm, some some arms, uh, probably some shoulders today. So we gonna start with that over. So you can't see up in my window These niggas don't understand me, damn me Cause I'm boss hog on candy Top down at Maxis With a big block nine handy, handy Creased up, creased up Stand dressed to impress Big boss, big buckle Under my Michelin S Oh, Gucci shades up on my braids Variation of lateral movements for your side delts Alright guys, so with this, I like to bring it behind my back to get a good stretch um, out of your shoulders. It really helps to improve range of motion when you're doing your other exercises as well. Um, <laughs> you see this lady walk up, and I had to let her know that she was going to be on camera because she started doing like some glute kickbacks, and it would have been weird if she thought I was recording that. <laughs> so I just had to let her know, like, hey, I'm recording. But yeah, so then I switched to the other side, same thing, just all the way behind the back, stretching. Look at that tricep though. On fleek. So I did some front raises, but being next to her, she was kind of like, she kept getting into the camera and I just felt weird. So being polite, I just turned it off. But you guys can see basically what I did. Just use the cable to do the front raise between your leg. It's a variation of shoulder press. We'll hit this. So I was trying to explain this kneeling uh, shoulder press variation, but clearly I was tired and fatigued was like sitting in, so I was slightly retarded. But uh, yeah, this just helps with less momentum, really helps you put emphasis on your shoulders. And this is my absolute favorite movement for rear delts. Um, lightweight, I only use like, I don't know, 50 pounds maybe, maybe less than that, I don't know, I can't remember, but try to keep your arm fairly straight, make sure your pinky's out, and just squeeze. It's all about mind and muscle connection with the rear delts. Sorry about the ass shot. Nothing special here, just rear delt flies. Um, I was debating on between doing this and the dumbbells, but obviously I decided to do this. So I never really do any standing shoulder press uh, like this, overhead or behind the head or anything like that. So I decided to try it, I actually enjoyed it, and uh, it helped on my chest day, like my shoulders felt more mobile. Um, so I think I'm just gonna start doing this. And you guys know I'm working on my traps, so uh, I just hit some of these, 
just because I was feeling good, had a nice pump, I decided why not hit some traps. Um, this is just upper center of your back. Uh, I think you should keep the weight fairly low because you'll see once I start to go heavy, I start to compromise form a little bit. About here is what I was talking about. It's not that I necessarily break form. I just go a little too low on my abdomen, which is hitting my lower lats instead of my traps in the upper back that I was trying to hit. So, I, you know, you see I'm doing the whole stack. I probably should have stuck with like a little bit lighter weight so I could focus and not ego lift. Great workout. <sighs> Refreshed. So, I feel like this lighting makes my teeth look yellow. <laughs> Maybe the most just yellow. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, I might sign in later. Like it, comment on it, subscribe to it. Subscribe to it. <laughs> and eat every day, baby. We out. So for some reason, I'm like starving. Like I feel like I'm about to faint. Seriously, and I've never felt like this before. So I just went and got a little box or I guess, I don't know if it's a small, and I upsized it to large, so they added a bunch of extra shit, and like two apple pies, so I'm about to grub on this shit, and then finish heading home, but yeah, I can't talk and eat, so I'll see y'all in a sec. All right, guys, that shit was grubbing. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of fucking Rich Piano lately, so that's why I keep like quoting his shit. And uh, <laughs> but, the shit was good. Hell, I probably could have left the camera on because it took all of five minutes to eat all that shit. Um, but damn, I don't know. I was just like hungry. So it's now time for the apple pie. Yeah, yeah. Although, Whataburger's apple pies are not the greatest. But whatever. McDonald's has the best ones to me. Or Popeye's. Fuck. Popeye's apple pies, bro. They the truth. Like, oh my God. The truth. They're like covered in cinnamon. If you've never had it, step your game up. Uh, uh, so I don't even know why I stopped, where I stopped, like what my exit was. But over here, like Taco Cabana is fucking packed. Like, look at that shit. Oh my gosh. Everybody loves Taco Cabana apparently over here, but that shit's gross. Like... Taco Cabana is nasty as fuck. Um, I would prefer to eat Taco Bell over Taco Cabana. Honestly. That's just nasty. Ugh. But, to each his own, whatever. So I guess we're gonna hit the road. So I can go to sleep.